Hi, Dan. My question today is about rewriting my goal. Just rewriting my goal over and over again can get boring. Am I just copying it or is it different each time? I think that that's been one exercise for me that has really been helpful. I have a book that's my goal statement book is a, a whole notebook that just has my goal statement over and over and over and over hundreds and hundreds of times because that impresses in your mind repeated exercises like writing your goal statement or like writing I am statements where you're, you're writing words or phrases that describe the person that you want to become. Even doing that multiple times helps to create almost a mastermind situation, although you're doing it by yourself because you, as you write things down over and over and over again, you're focusing on your goal. You're focusing on the person that you want to become. And that allows your, your heart to open up to receiving new ideas. I do professional copywriting. And one thing that I do to get ready for copywriting, even if it's a simple like sequence of ads, email ads or something like that, is I'll write headlines. And if I want one good headline, I'll write 20 and just keep writing and writing and writing all on the same topic from a little bit different angle because by the time I get down to about number 10 or 15, I'm starting to get some good combinations that I resonate with. The first ones are usually, I usually throw them out. But, but if you're writing things down like you say, I am blank, describing the person that you are when your goal is achieved. The first few might be the kind of person you are right now. And you think, well, I, I'd like to just keep that little characteristic in my personality. But as you get further into it, you'll see that you're starting to define and get to the point of the important information, the important characteristics that that, that person that's you, that future person that's you with your goal achieved is like. What are you like? As you open your heart, it's kind of like peeling layers off an onion. Eventually, you'll get down to the things that are the core essence of yourself and the person, the real person that you'll become in the process. And I would encourage you to write, 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 because it triggers a lot of nerve synapses, which are part of the memory process and part of the developing habits, because your brain, there's the body, the eye-hand coordination, there's the thought process, Many more nerves are used in writing things down, especially if you write with your non-dominant hand. You use much more of your functional part of your brain and you develop those memories, those habits, those thought patterns more powerfully than typing them in or saying them to yourself or just thinking them. Are you rewriting your goal in exactly the same way or does it change slightly when you're rewriting it? My goal has changed back and forth. It's gotten longer, it's gotten shorter. And I think, well, am I really writing my goal or am I, am I writing a life script? Because goal statements can get fairly lengthy, but they need to be detailed. They need to be clear and detailed. My goal sentence, my goal statement now is basically two sentences and probably not more than maybe 50 words. And I would say that your goal statement should be short enough that you can memorize it but long enough that it presents a clear and emotional image that you re resonate with and you can send that thought, that thought frequency out into the universe where it really starts doing some work. For a new goal, the process is to continue to rewrite your goal to gain clarity and to continue to rewrite it until you get the words that you really resonate with for your goal. Is that correct? whole statement it was about 200 words long i thought well that's one i can't memorize the whole thing right away uh two some of it as i started to work on memorizing i thought well that i don't think i really said that correctly and so things got parsed down trimmed down and some things that i hadn't thought of got put in and eventually it changed into a goal statement that i have memorized so i can say it and i would really say memorize it in addition to writing it down because that way you can, like if I'm in an elevator all by myself, 
I can say it aloud. I can use it as my 30 second promo script or maybe 15 seconds in a TV commercial. This is the person I am. I'm so happy and grateful now that and I can say that statement over and over and over and it gets embedded in your in your mind and becomes part of you. Thanks for being with us today. My goal is to give you value with every lesson. If you would like us to notify you every time a new lesson is ready, click subscribe below, then turn on notification. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.